and welcome to another BCA sports production of Brockton High School Hockey. We are recording live from AZF Arena and we're looking down on AZF Arena as play has begun between your Brockton Boxers and Norwood. Brockton off to a slow start. Well, we're, we're about halfway through the year. A uh, couple of wins under their belt for Saint Pe against St. Peter Marion. And a host of struggles after that. They've been competitive for most of the year. Uh, we have uh, Dominic Massaro gaining control of the puck up. Brockton, loose puck. Noah went into it. Bridges dumps it in and the puck is out of play. So Brockton, not part of a specific league this year with uh, Durfee combining with New Bedford, creating only two teams in the division. And we'll have more on that as the evening progresses. Good body check down low. That was by Adante Massaro. As... Norwood coming into the game, their last three games have been ties. Not only ties, two to two ties, the last three. We'd like to thank the Norwood coaching staff, the entire coaching staff, for giving us a little advanced scouting report on what they've done this year. And uh, they're 500 with five ties this year. Oh! Tested early, Massaro. A nice save, nice leg save as Brockton clears the puck. And out. Back in Norwood's end. Around the horn it goes. Flynn keeping it in. Uh, Norwood gains control of the puck, though. Tries to clear it out. Brockton keeps it in, but, oh. Norwood eventually does clear as they change and dump. Sylvia, Peyton Sylvia, number 24, and I uh, want to keep an eye on tonight. A couple of people you want to keep an eye on tonight from Norwood are the Reardon brothers. Austin, who is in net tonight, and Aiden Reardon, number eight. Twins. It seems like every game the Postman and I have covered this year, we've had at least one set of twins on each opposing team. Oh, shifty. Oh, and a goal. Pretty goal by Martin. Top shelf. No chance for Massaro. That was a two-on-one. And Norwood click quickly puts a goal on the board with just over two minutes gone in the first. Bridges will take the faceoff for Brockton. 
Norwood gains control, dumps in again, and everyone chases. Over to Sylvia. Sylvia trying to work in one on three at the moment. Layden also assisted on that Norwood goal as the boxers break out. A rush. And didn't really get it on net, but enough for Reardon to cover up. So as we stated earlier, uh, the, um, the boxers more than, almost more than halfway through the season. Um, just been a little bit of a struggle. Um, they've been competitive in a lot of games, uh, many a games you have seen as part of our BCA sports package. And Brockton, Brockton looking to turn the season around and there's only one way to do that is to grind and to skate. Sylvia. Not out. Oh, shot, nice save Massaro. That was a good slap shot put on by Walsh. Oop, oh, redirected. As Brockton digs for in the corner. They gain control and knock it out. Norwood dumps it right back, delayed outside. But Brockton comes forward. As Sylvia tries to go through the whole Norwood team unsuccessfully. And Norwood hustles to the puck. Sylvia tries to wrap it around. Norwood keeps it in. And that's one thing you want to do, put it on the net. As Brockton clears and ices. So other names to keep an eye on for the Norwood squad. Um, we have Boothroyd, number 22. Layden, we've already mentioned his name. He has an early assist, number 21. Hennessy, number 15. We mentioned the Reardons. And we have some other players, specifically 1-9 to keep an eye on. Mershan, Russo, and Hayes, 27, 29, and 20, respectively. That is supposed to be their top line. Um, that is where the bread is buttered with Norwood. As they let the, they play on, just must have lost an edge, the Brockton player, over in the corner. Norwood's uh, had a sustained attack since this game started more than five minutes ago. Puck possession has been heavily in Norwood's favor. They keep control. A pretty pass. Block shot. A beautiful block shot by Al Birmingham. A defensive stalwart this year for Brockton. They've gone to him more and more as the season progresses. And Brockton just looking to clear, but Norwood sends it in, and Massaro covers up. We have just over nine minutes left in the first period. Norwood is up 1-0. Face off to the left of Massaro, uh, to the right of Massaro. Norwood is getting to every loose puck and winning to this point. Back to the point. Nice steal by Birmingham, but delayed offside. Sylvia back, and we begin again. Krushenik could not get the puck out now. Finally, the puck is out. That's O'Connell dumping it in. Krushenik throwing the body around, which we like. The lanky lefty. Not afraid to mix it up. 
pretty pass. And the dump in, the chase as Norwood changes lines. Very efficient. Birmingham stays with it, has control of the puck. And Brockton comes in with a change, a timely change. Fresh legs on the ice. As they keep it in, Sylvia puts it on net. Ooh, tipped wide. That is a good sign. We have a stoppage in play. It appears to be an ice. As the faceoff will be to the right of Austin Reardon. Sylvia shot blocked, couldn't get through. Seamus Sheehan dumps it in. And Norwood breaks out. We get a two on one. A shot. Ooh, another top shelf goal. Mercy me, mercy my. Whew. That was the captain, Mr. Martin, with the top shelf goal. Massaro down and just couldn't, couldn't reach that one. That was gone before he knew it. Norwood up 2 nothing. Midway through the first period. <laughs> no, we're doing a nice job of not only gaining control of the puck, but keeping control. Another shot. They're going high on Massaro tonight. The scouting report must show. Go high on Massaro. Oh, and another goal. Just like that. Norwood has opened the floodgates. And that goal... The third one of this period. Jake Rousseau with the goal on that, and the third goal of the period for Norwood. And they just do a nice job of, not, of uh, puck possession. They know where they want to go with the puck as Brockton creates a turnover. That's O'Connell getting his nose dirty as the puck is cleared. Sylvia. And it's dumped back in. Brockton has it. And quickly gives it back to Norwood, who dumps it back in for a line change. Brockton comes out. And is having a difficult time. They do finally get it out. But there has to be more to that. They have to not only get it out, they have to do something with it. And to this point, they haven't. Norwood on the rush again. Come by the captain, Martin. And a save. Massaro covers up. So the captain for Norwood, uh, he's everywhere so far. Mr. Martin will have to keep an eye on him throughout the game. Right wing. Ooh, and Massaro ready for that one. Norwood creating space, time. Another back end. Ooh, Massaro got a piece of that one. That was going upstairs, top shelf again. It looks like they're going to Massaro. They're aiming for his blocker side, not glove side, blocker side, which would be to his right. Norwood 
Gets control of the puck. A tip. Goes wide. Out in front. Puck is loose. And Brockton turns it around. If they can get a three on two here. If they move quickly. Nice defense by Norwood. Shot on net. Puck just lays there. And Norwood is called for the ice. So Postman and I were caught off guard. We were we, uh, we heard uh, the singing of the national anthem, and we looked at each other, the singing, and sure enough, it sounded like one of the great Brockton High students. Oh, and a nice save by Reardon. A good shot on by Brockton. And uh, Matthew Cunningham's team of just fantastic singers. Uh, angels. I'll just leave it at that. They're angels with beautiful voices. And they cease to amaze. Not sure who it was, but we will try to find out. As Brockton has the puck, putting a little pressure on. Kicked it back to Sylvia. Ooh, gets it through, but it's wide. Birmingham. They race past Birmingham, and Norwood on the rush. Massaro going high again. Learned his lesson, stayed high. And almost got a cage full. As Norwood dumps it in, another line change. Brockton has an opportunity here to go on a rush. Shot put on net. Sylvia with save by Reardon. Brockton showing some signs of life here, putting some pucks on the net. And you can't score if you don't put it towards the net. Yes, yes, I know. It's deep. Dante Massaro takes a face off. And they put some sustained pressure on Reardon from Norwood, but nothing through yet as Norwood clears it out. Dumps it in. Good potty check by Brockton. Norwood, good puck possession again. Keeping the play in Brockton end. As Peter Sylvia cleared it out. A shot towards the net. It's blocked. Good defense by Norwood. Sylvia can't keep it in. As the puck is dumped in and Norwood, very disciplined changes the lines. They're going about at a minute, minute and a half tops and changing up lines. Uh, Brockton, more or less the same. You'll see some players out there a little bit longer. No, it looks like they have a little bit more of a balanced team. As they can control behind the net. Good defense by... S that is good defense by Sylvia. Oh, nice save by Massaro. Little blocker, little leg. A victory. Wheeled around, and Brockton just looking to clear the puck, but Norwood's not having any of it. Sylvia rides him along the boards, but Norwood keeps possession. Mr. Martin again, grinding it out in the corner. Very impressive so far. The referee's letting them battle. Norwood comes out with the puck. Ooh, tried a little fancy dancy shamaru. Don't know what that is, but it was fancy. Not out. He tried to go over the net. One minute left in the period. And the puck is out. Brock Brockton changes. Norwood's got him on on change. Oh, good defense by Sylvia. 
as Norwood sustains their attack. It's been relentless this period. Oh, but we have a breakaway. We have a potential breakaway here. A shot wide. Oh. As Norwood comes on the attack, and a late offside call is made. Well, it's been pretty simple this period as we have 14 seconds left. Norwood has taken the puck. They've controlled it. Uh, they've won pretty much every one-on-one -on -one battle. And when they lose possession, they, they gain it back quickly. Pretty poised team. Sylvia tries to clear it out. Cannot, and it's finally cleared out. And that will do it. So after one period of play, the boxers face a 3-0 hole as Norwood clears the ice up 3-0. We will be back for second period action right after this important announcement. When Scott and I had thought about expanding our family as our kids were getting older, we knew that we wanted to do it probably in a non-traditional way, such as through adoption or foster to adopt. We felt like our, our family still had room to grow. When we first met Isaiah, he was 16 going on 17, and I instantly knew that age didn't matter, that I could be his mom regardless. I just kind of knew, like, this is, this is where I was meant to be. I think there's a myth that you need to have a child from infancy to really bond and have those first moments with them. The first time that he actually had his driver's permit in hand made me feel pretty darn proud. I always teach my kids to drive with a manual. That always makes for interesting moments. I took the wrong turn up a hill and then I didn't know what to do. So we started kind of rolling back down. Going backwards back into traffic in the passenger seat going, well, this isn't very good. And he was super calm, like, even though we were in some serious danger. Isaiah's first Thanksgiving with us. We do what's called the turkey trot here in Duluth. It is a 5K on Thanksgiving morning. Isaiah, he told us that he was a runner, and we're like, perfect, let's go do this. We run in teams. The losing team wears the stuffed turkey hats the next year. Within the first couple seconds, he was gone. He pretty much finished in the top 40 out of about 3,000 people. I won't lose to them, hopefully. When Isaiah first started spending weekends with us, he wouldn't leave his shoes in the entryway. He kept on doing that for several months after he moved in. And I remember coming home one night, and I opened up the door, and there were these big tennis shoes sitting right in the entryway. And that's when I knew that Isaiah felt like he was home. And that was a pretty cool feeling. When Isaiah got accepted into college and he was able to participate in athletics there, it was the proudest I think I've ever seen him. It was awesome running my first college race. It was just kind of special to see all, everyone there. I really like when my family comes with me. It's like, I just, I, I love it. It's fun to watch him compete. I was a track coach. And it's something that I think we can relate to each other on. I have parents that I, I love, and that's just, I think that's pretty incredible. I only have one mom mode. It's not any different for Isaiah than it is for, for Ashley or Devin. There's definitely nothing perfect about me as a father, um, but I enjoy every day of it. I've had the privilege of holding two beautiful babies in my arms, and I've also had the privilege of Isaiah looking us straight in the eyes and saying, I want to join your family. And I can tell you that feeling is exactly the same. It is pure love. And we are back for a second period action at AZF Rink, where the Mustangs from Norwood lead your Brockton Boxers 3 0. Second period action. Brockton showing a little 
speed, but Norwood gets control of the puck. Birmingham now has control for Brockton. Can't keep it. Regains it. Loses it. Wow, a lot happened in three seconds. All right. Over to Peyton Sylvia. Ooh, cuts it right up the center of the ice. Nice move. Sylvia getting ahead of steam. Potential three on two. Puts it on net. And easily brushed aside by Austin Reardon. As Norwood gains control over to Mr. Martin, the captain. But there is a line change. And the puck is out. Faceoff will be in the Brockton end to the left of Masaro. Sylvia chases, takes a hit for his efforts. Peter Sylvia, back to the point, kicked out. Good early pressure by Brockton. Ooh, just couldn't get a hold of it. Birmingham puts it on net, wide. Norwood turns around, goes the other way. Ooh. Massaro laying some lumber. That was a beautiful hit along the boards. As the puck goes down the Brockton end, a race for it. Norwood again winning those races to the puck today. Not very complicated. Puck possession and want to, will, will to, is adding up to a, a recipe for success for the Mustang so far. Let's see if Brockton can turn the tables. A goal is much needed at this point. Delayed offside, called off. As the puck is loose. And Norwood continues to gain control in the Brockton end of things. Puck's finally cleared out. Back at Aiden Reard, number eight. One thing, uh, one thing you do notice when the, the players came out is how big Norwood is. They have some big boys. And they have some skills, as you saw by the first period. Icing is called off. O'Connell in, doing a little forechecking. Nice to see the forecheck in play. O'Connell digging for it. Good pressure by O'Connell. Nice shift, no icing. And who's going for the puck for Brockton? Birmingham's got it. Norwood comes out again. Shot on that Massaro. Gloves it. The face-off will be held in the Brockton end to the right of Massaro. Face-offs won by Brockton. Sylvia along the boards and out. And a nice. Coming right back to the Brockton end. See Ben Martin, number 18, assistant captain, skating by. Speaking of big boys, he's a tall, lanky type. And Sylvia wrestling in the corner. Brockton looking to gain control. They do. Can't make that connection, though. Ben Martin was there. Oh, we have an opportunity. Shot. Save. Good shot. Reardon was ready. Right in the bread basket. Norwood uh, Mustangs changing up. Brockton keeping their core five out there. Bridges. Oh, and he lost the skate. Oh, no. Here we go. A shot, a score. If you don't keep your feet, bad things happen. 
And that was a simple case of losing an edge. Norwood went down. And the goal was scored by number 20, Mr. Hayes. And that will be all for Dominic Massaro tonight, who is not a happy camper. I believe replacing Massaro is Ryan Spano. So Spano in for Massaro. Brockton, good pressure. Ooh, put it on net. No, it's sound defense. And away they go. Good checking. By Sylvia, as the puck winds down, there's a change from Brockton. And Norwood goes on the attack. They cross the red line, dump it in. And they follow suit and change as well. Brockton just looking for trouble. I mean, they're running. There's no space. Uh, this is a very frustrating game uh, as a fan of the boxers. Uh, they just can't sustain any puck possession and that is what uh, the story of this game is all about to this point it is four nothing Norwood Mustangs over the boxers as Norwood does a great job on the four check And back at it they go. Spano, there we go. Tricky shot. And he was able to kick it away. As Brockton gains control. O'Connell greeting number 21 along the boards. Uh, puck to nobody as Norwood gains control. Brockton's defense sagging back, insistent that they won't allow another goal. Spano kicks that one aside. Continued pressure by the Mustangs. A shot, Spano steers it away. Looking good early on. Not phased by the moment in the least. As Brockton clears, and it's an icing. With almost halfway through the second period, it is the Mustangs four, Brox Boxers nothing. The faceoff will be down in the Boxers end to the right of Spano. Gains control of the puck. Shot blocked. And Norwood just playing keep away to this point. As again, a race for the puck and Norwood wins. Oh, and he got some pipe on that one. Again, going high. This one to Spano's glove side. Hit the pipe as we have a stoppage in play. 
the puck will be taken out and back down the Norwood end. And the puck is up. Sylvia dumps it back in. And Norwood just shreds through. Oh, and they looked for the long one. They looked for the home run. Couldn't connect, which will result in an icing. And back down to Norwood's end. Some players that have stood out to this point for the Mustangs would be Martin. Uh, Layden's had a good game. Austin Reardon, the goaltender, hasn't had much action, but what he's had, he's gobbled up. And Brockton still banging bodies, which is a good sign. They're willing to fight. As the puck is cleared, Birmingham has it. Tries to get something going. Good pressure, but the puck is out. And it's an ice. We don't have any tunes tonight, and that's probably the biggest change for this game. We don't have the rock and roll, but that's okay. You have the postman on camera tonight, and that makes up for any anything that AZF might not have brought to the table tonight. That's why the postman's always here, because he always delivers. As the puck just lays in front of the net, a wicked slap shot wide. At points, it seems like Norwood has six or seven players on the ice at once. It's just they're, they're, they're hustling, they're grinding, and it's been an impressive showing. As Reardon covers up, playing the safe route with five and a half minutes left in the second period. Four nothing Mustangs. The face off to the right of Reardon. To the left of Reardon. I'm having problems with my left and right today. I used to play with a, uh, on varsity football, our linebacker had to put L and R on his shoes to remember left and right. That is true. That story is true. A good man he, I won't name his name, that helped. He didn't get it right all the time, but it helped. Oh, tantalizing that puck. Oh, puck taking crazy bounces along the boards. Norwood, the beneficiary of that, as they have it deep in Brockton zone. Trying to clear it out, but in, in the, oh, and Brockton has an opportunity, but Norwood tightens up when they need to. Delayed offside call. And even with that, Norwood gains control. Sylvia comes out with it and slaps it along the boards. A much better showing this period for Brockton. Oh, and a beautiful save. I'm sorry, I went hot on that one. Spano flashing the right pad, and it was a beauty. He's come in and done a fine job 
Dominic Massaro, a rock all season. Uh, just didn't have it tonight. It was a combination of things. Uh, Coach Cunningham decided to pull him. And that's not a reflection of the year he's had because he's competed very hard. And he'll be back for more. As Brockton gains control, try the home run, and instead they get nothing. Good shot along the boards. And the whistle finally blows for an icing. Back in Brockton's end, Spano to Spano's right. We have just over three minutes left in the second period. The Mustangs have tacked one on to uh, add to this score. It is currently 4 nothing. Face-off, one by Norwood. And just kept in. Sylvia a little slow getting up. Good defense out front, and Sylvia shoots it down the other end of the ice. Okay, that'll be an icing. Just seems like the puck is a hot potato tonight for, for the boxers. Um, they can't get rid of it quick enough. They can't get a handle on it. Uh, very frustrating see some frustration from the players at different points during the game. They're giving it their effort. They're giving it the full effort, but it's just not working. And Norwood is a large part of that tonight. Puck sails over Spano's head. And an ice, unfortunately, as a good effort. Chasing that puck by Peter Sylvia to no avail. Norwood gets control of the puck, keeps it in. And it's cleared out by Brockton. Norwood regrouping at center ice. Dumps it back in. Dump and chase. Sylvia just trying to get the puck out. Spano on net. Brush to the side. And Norwood looking for the open man. Finds him. Shot blocked by O'Connell. As Brockton looks to break out. Excellent defense by Hennessy of the Mustangs. Simple poke check. Simple yet effective. No icing. One left in the and there is one minute left in the period. One minute. As Brockton looks to try to trim that four goal deficit. Poke checked out. Sylvia can't get control of it. Norwood keeps it in. Shots blocked. Back to the point. Over in the right corner. Brockton breaks out. Led by Sylvia. They have numbers. And Norwood just clamps on. And come away with the puck. Potential two on one. In goes Martin. Oh, he fans. He shoots. Oh, blocked by Spano. Another save by Spano. And a solid way to end the period. 
The Boxers are down 4 nothing to the Mustangs from Norwood. But they're showing some fight. So again, after two periods, uh, the Norwood Mustangs 4, uh, your Brockton Boxers nothing. We will return. You got it right after this important message. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. We are back for third period action at AZF Rink. Through two periods, uh, the score, Norwood Mustangs four, Brockton Boxers zero. Nice save, Spano, who replaced Dominic Massaro earlier on, having quite, quite a period plus. He's made several key saves, keeping the Brockton, uh, Brockton boxes within striking distance. Down four nothing. They'll need to score quick and they'll need to score often to make this a game as Spano plays it. And Brockton, in the middle of a line change for Norwood, gets it up center ice and loses the puck. Dumped in. Norwood gains control as they easily clear it out. Puck goes under the stick. Brockton player, and that will result in an icing. Face off will be to the left of Spano. Just underway here in the third period. Quick drop of the puck, and play marches on. The Mustangs, for many years, were part of the Bay State Conference, no longer. They shot, ooh, and that was a elbow shot that was not called, as an icing is called. And back down Brockton's end. Looked like a Norwood player got away with an elbow. So back to the Norwood Mustangs, for many years, part of the Bay State Conference. I believe the smallest school size of all Bay State participants. So they made the decision to move to the Tri-Valley League, which is no picnic. Uh, you have perennial powers like Westwood to contend with. But they're holding their own in their first season in the Tri-Valley League. That puck is covered up by Reardon and the face off will be to his left two minutes in to the third period back to the point shot can't get through Norwood has the puck and they clear it out Brockton banging bodies early in this period Looking to start something, but Norwood right back on the attack. Save Spano. Save Spano. Ooh. Nifty attempt there. Spano poised. Covers up. Do have to say that Brockton has settled down after that fourth goal was scored. It seems it's it's been a not an even game, but Brockton's been much more competitive this last period and a half. Shot wide. 
Sylvia retrieves the puck beyond his net. Clears it out. Potential break for Brockton. Bridges, shot. Ooh, it's a nice save by Reardon. Back to Sylvia. Oh, another save. Good pressure by the boxers early in this third period. Reardon is having none of it, though. He said, not today, not today. I'm speculating, of course. Maybe he didn't say that, but his actions speak louder than words. As Norwood gains control of the puck. And it's a mess in the middle. Sylvia winds it around, and the puck is out. Ooh, nice pass. Ooh, shot just high, Bridges. Uh-oh, fanned on that one, and that's trouble. Good defense by Birmingham. Oh, Birmingham, a beautiful, beautiful play to break that up. He was sitting at the doorstep. Can't come in. You can ring that doorbell all day, but you can't come in. And Brockton goes back on the attack. Oh, right under the stick. As Reardon covers up, Brockton showing some moxie here in the third period. Coach Cunningham, I'm sure, had a few words for the boys. It's all about compete level. And Brockton is showing it early on in the third. Face off back to the point. Kept in by Birmingham. Around. And a turnover. Norwood kicks it back, right back into the Brockton end. Good defense. As Massaro clears, and it's an ice. Coming down, back down Brockton's way. The faceoff will be to the left of Spano. As we have 10 and a half remaining in the contest. Faceoff finally controlled. Well, cleared out. Norwood gains control. Hmm. Nifty path passing. As Norwood gains control of the puck along the boards. Tries a pass out to the point. Box is having none of that, but Norwood regroup, regroups. Excuse me, that was a hiccup. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, that was a hiccup. There is no mute button. We have no mute button. And it appears it's an icing. Back in the Mustang end to the left of Reardon. Sylvia was uh, a little banged up earlier on in the game. Looks like he's fighting through something. Continuing the battle. Backhands it in. Didn't get all the way through. And Norwood is content with just dumping it back in. And on the attack, Norwood, oh, off the edge. He had the stick. He had the shot, but... The puck was on edge, and he could not contain it. Birmingham banged up a little bit, but continuing to battle. Sylvia, the gamer that he is, is continuing to fight. Races for the puck. Brockton putting more pressure on. 
Sylvia staying with him. Ooh, dangerous. And there it is. Goes to Bridges. Bridges puts it on net. Redden gobbles it up. Brockton has had some chances today. Uh, most of them ended up in the bread basket of uh, Austin Reardon. But pressure nonetheless. And it continues into the third period. The classic case of if we could have a period back, uh, no doubt that first period, as Norwood on the run. They keep the puck in. Dump it behind the net. Sylvia. Actually, I stand corrected. That is not Sylvia. That was Bridges. That is Sylvia. Turns it over. Oh, Spano. Nifty. Nifty right pad save. That right pad's been getting a workout today. As the puck is cleared. No wood back. Regroups. Ooh, good defense. Good forechecking by Brockton. Can't corral the puck, though. The story of tonight's game. Cannot corral the puck. Good body by Sylvia. Right through Spano. Steers it away. And bodies are falling. Ooh, trying short side. Spano. And the referee loses sight of the puck. The young man getting a little frisky there on the ice. Referee's telling him to knock it off. Play it to the whistle, gentlemen. Face off in Brockton's end. Birmingham has it. Wheels it to O'Connell. O'Connell down the ice, no icing. Played by Reardon. As Norwood gains control. Not a ton of action this period. Uh, good pressure by Brockton at points. Same can be said for Norwood. But a lot of mucking and grinding this period. No wood position behind the net. Ooh, good defense. And that would be Birmingham again. Slop shot. Ooh, wide. Good breakout. O'Connell looking for somebody, anybody. Can't find him. Turnover in Mustang's end. Mustang territory. Brockton keeps it in. And the puck is out. Sylvia to Birmingham to Sylvia. And another turnover. A little sloppy play here in the third period. Face off just outside the Norwood end of ice. Norwood gains control. And the Mustangs dump it in. Sylvia loses an edge. Kenny Young back here on defense, number 23.
Young gains control of the puck. Battles for it. Not cleared. Ooh, banging bodies. Shot. Spano calmly stares away. And Sylvia out to Krasinik. Puck kept in. Good pressure. Bridges goes to the net. Shot save. Good pressure by Bridges. Good rush. More sustained activity like that was needed earlier in the game. Little tic tac toe here. Oh, Norwood getting a little fancy. And they pay for it. They still have possession of the puck, though. Right back in Brockton's end. Ooh, shot high. They've been going high all night. And their success has been up high. Put on net, or towards the net. Bridges back at it. Can he do it again? Tough to go through, too. Good defense by Norwood. Bridges gave it the old college try to no avail. And Norwood on a potential break. Oh, good defense. Birmingham. We have to come up with a nickname for Birmingham. The berm has turned. I Give me time. Give me time. We'll work it out. Mission Burma? Uh, we'll get back to that. If not today, another day. Shot wide. Spano shaking his head. Rushed by Norwood, the Mustangs. Keeping the pressure on with just under two minutes left in the game. Because there is no official league, there is no big three this season. It's all about points now for Brockton. And the shot goes wide. They need points and they need them in a hurry in order to make the MIAA tournament this year. Uh, beating Durfee will not do the trick this season. With under a minute left, it looks like Brockton will fall at the hands of the Norwood Mustangs as Reardon covers up. Well, it's, it was a frustrating game tonight, folks. Uh, you might have heard it in my voice, the frustration. The opportunities were there. Uh, Norwood played a sound game. Um, they outplayed Brockton in the first period where they scored their first three goals. And I think Brockton has hung with them. Again, they, they're they giving a competitive game. They're giving a competitive effort. We're just not seeing it in the final results. Hopefully that will turn around as the season progresses. And the only way to find out is to stay tuned for BCA's sports coverage of your boxes. The shot goes wide as the clock winds down. And that will do it. From AZF Rink, 
The Brockton Boxers, despite an honest, hard-working effort, good backup goaltending, goaltending by Ryan Spano. Uh, the Norwood Mustangs come out in victory for nothing. So, for Mike the Postman Simmons doing another delivery covering this game, I am Jay Miller. Please stay tuned for more BCA sports coverage only in Brockton. This is Jay Miller saying good night and go Pats.